Welcome back, welcome back. Hi. Here for George B. Thank you. And as usual, I'm skipping the scanning process because ain't nobody got time for that shit. So if you actually skip the scanning process when you're picking up the order on Uber, you won't have to do it again uh, when you're at the drop off because it requires you to do it twice. So I always just skip it. Like, why would I scan this thing twice? I could read a name. But anyways, welcome back. We are out here. Okay, the time is currently 6.39 is when I went online. 6.39 p.m. I'm just gonna keep going until I get bored. Or they kick me off line, either one. Whichever one comes first. I did schedule six to seven and uh, not seven, uh, eight. Eight to nine, I believe. So we should be good until about nine o'clock. But yeah, today we are trying something different. We're trying to see if we could get better base pays on Uber by raising our our mileage. So I raised mine to, I believe, four miles today. We're gonna test it out on four. I did get some regular orders at first, but I actually did cancel those just because oh my Jesus. yep typical typical manhattan shit all right this is actually my third order because i did have a double before but it was to a wine store that i didn't feel like going to because it is inside of a mall and i never been there i just really didn't feel like hunting it down in case it was like a difficult to find pickup you know so the first two orders i got it was actually it was like regular three dollar base pay because you know here in new york we don't get tips until during or after our deliveries so everything that come up front is just a base pay kind of like how it was back in the day so i'm trying to see if i could get something better all right i'm we're at an office building i'm waiting for my customer to come down i called him and oh he just texted me say he's coming down okay cool so let's take a look at this, right? The first order that I did, this, which is this one, was 4.2 miles. Uber is paying out eight, I mean, $14 and eight cents. That's the base pay. I have another order I'm about to go pick up, $5.05 for 1.5 miles. I mean, you definitely see higher base pays going further. I mean, I already knew that, but I just wanna see how big the difference is. That's kind of what I'm gauging today because if the base pay is bigger for further distance i'd rather just do a couple long distance orders instead of doing a bunch of small distance orders for like three dollars i got steven Thank you. Thank you. all right so we're on the double uh the five dollar order that i mentioned earlier then they added on uh the storage order so this is what i was saying i did that one order earlier for 14 because it was a far distance and not because this one is close it's only it's only paying out eight it's only paying out eight dollars took a while to actually get that order but i was actually about to leave bro i'm not even gonna lie but i remembered i already unassigned two orders earlier and if you want to increase your scheduling spots you need your cancellation rate low mine is at three percent last time i checked it probably went up to four for those two i just canceled That was a handed to me order, but he did not show up at the door. On handed to me orders, I usually count down like five to seven seconds in my head. And if I don't hear you coming to the door, I'm just gonna leave it there and I'm going. Now we know they. Press four. Yep. Make that right the first door, okay? All right, thank you. All right, so now we got a double order. This one is paying out $13 for 3.6 miles interesting so we had a, a single order for 14 dollars for four miles and now we have a double for 13 3.6 miles that's that's very interesting i mean i would rather do this though because like my last video or a video ago i did a triple order for like 11 dollars. <laughs> so i got a question <clears throat> how long would you wait for an order in nyc with the new mandates because typically I always used to have a five minute rule. Five minutes was the maximum I used to wait before mandates kicked in. Because unless it was like a, unless it was just like a really good order. 
anything other than that, you're pretty much just wasting your time. But now, ever since mandates kicked in and we technically get paid wait time, it's more like incentivized for us to sit around and wait at the store for an order to be ready. But even though I know we are incentivized to do it, I still don't like waiting. I got this order. It's a double order. I accepted it at 7.33 p.m. It is 8 oh, well, they're looking at me instead of crossing the street. It's 8.08. .08. And this is what I'm just now getting the order. And mind you, I have another order to go pick up. And if you've seen my, my other video, I think it was the last one. It was the same store I, I waited on like 20 plus minutes. It was just a different location, except that this time I actually didn't get, I, I didn't get the order last time. I ended up just having to cancel. Man, I'm just curious, how long would you guys wait? Cause God knows I wanted to leave after like two minutes. In fact, when I noticed it was the same store, I wanted to cancel right then and there because I was like, I doubt this location is gonna be any different from the last one. And it definitely wasn't. So it definitely wasn't worth it to me waiting. I already know this order's ready because it's customers. <laughs> they have been waiting, bro. Alright. Uh, got Ishito. I'll, I'll get the letter done myself. And I'll bring it to I can get the letter done myself and I'll bring it to you. Thank you. But yeah, I already knew this order was ready because I made that customer wait because I had to do an experiment. <laughs> my bad dog it's all right you got a microwave at your crib you can heat this shit up hi it's a delivery oh you don't have an address on here it just says broadway and east state street bro the, the customer put east 8th street she just told me she's on east 57th i'm getting free food bro <laughs> ain't no way i'm going all the way over there that's crazy all right so they just uh cancel that because they had the wrong address absolute fucking goofballs and now my second drop off is like just right here all right not gonna lie today's turning out pretty good so far <laughs> we're doing an experiment we're getting free food i'm assuming they entered like they ordered it through the restaurant because when i called her and asked her for the address uh she said she's gonna call the the restaurant and as soon as i got on the phone maybe like 30 seconds later said order canceled bro let me just ride down there what am i doing we don't got five seconds to waste walking <laughs> but anyway i never tried this place so should i take a break should i take a break and eat my food or should i keep going nah nah i think i'm i think i'm gonna keep going i think i'm gonna keep going all right, we just delivered that order. So we got a double order, $12.09 for 3.3 miles. And then they said, you want to add on another order? So on here it says an extra additional mile, but that's just going to the other store. And that's even less than a mile though. So like I was saying, the additional uh, mile is only maybe like 0.5 miles from the, the restaurants that I'm going to. Because the additional order that I got, the drop off is actually like, I would have to pass that location anyway in order to get there. So, I don't know why they say it's an additional mile. It really isn't. But. So, my uh, now dinner that I got, I'm going to go to my, my bike shop and go leave this over there. So, it's not taking up all my space. All right, I just picked up that third order right here. It was ready waiting for me. And now, I'm about to head to the bike shop to put up my, my soon-to-be dinner. <laughs> I'm already hungry thinking about that shit, bro. And on top of that, more importantly, I'm gonna go use the bathroom over there because, oh my goodness, why did I leave my house without doing that? Beyond me. Ooh, took care of business. Let's get back on the road. Excuse me, policia. At the first customer, it is... I think this is her. Hi. Is this right. Oh uh, no. Oh, right. not me. No? No. A few moments later. I've been here at least eight minutes. 
waiting for this guy. He was on the opposite side of the building, which is actually the first time I've seen anybody go to that side of the building. They always come down to 45th side. The doorman just collected a second order. All right, we're approaching the last one on this trip for order. My customer gonna text me and say, are you here yet? What's wrong with you? Oh, shut the fuck up. What's wrong with you? There's a road. Like you bitches don't walk in the bike lane. Right? But anyways. <laughs> Um, they texted me and they said, am I here yet? Mind you, they could track you from the minute you accept the order. They know exactly where you are. So then after that, oh yeah, because on Uber, they can't, um, we as a courier, we can't actually see your message until we're actively doing your specific order. So I didn't, I didn't even know they said that until like, you know, I hit that the order was delivered on the last one. And then he gonna text me again. Okay, I see that you're doing additional stops. All right, we're going to Upper East Side with a double order. We just picked up both. Now this one came in for 11.68 for 3.5 miles. So. We had an order for 3.6 miles I paid. It was a double that paid out 1306. We had an order for 3.3 miles, which is a double, double, paid out 1209. It's not very consistent. It seemed like it's like a range. Hi. So, there you go. I'm gonna, so the doorman ordered that food. I'm starving. Alright, see how far we're going for the next drop off. From here, it's 10 minutes away. <laughs> Got an elevator in here. Please be an elevator. I don't feel like walking. Damn it. Should have known better. All right, we just picked up this alcohol order. As soon as I got it, they tried to add on a second order on here from the same store, the same alcohol store. But that one was like $2. I'm like, nah, we don't take those. This place is fancy, bro. Man, I wish I was recording. I mean, obviously I don't record um, alcohol deliveries, but this customer was drunk as hell. The ID wouldn't scan. I'm pretty sure because it was too dark. And the flash on the phone was not helping at all. And then he was like, Oh, is it the service messing up? No, he's like, Is it the ID messing up or is it your first time doing this? Pissed me off from right then and there. So I stopped talking to him. <laughs> I stopped talking to him the whole um the rest of the like the transaction. Then he's like, Oh, what services? I'm like Uber Eats. He's like, that's my mom using Uber Eats. I'm like, good. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking in my head. But anyway, we got kicked offline. At 10.26. I mean, I was only planning to work until like 11. Anyway, so that's not even a big deal. One thing we got to go do is go to the bike shop. And see what we got, that free food that we got. It was two bowls.
Bike Express after dark. After hours, I should say. This is what that package looking like. That God Chicken, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to a... Uh, that's not even a customer name, bro. Shia. That's not... I don't even know who the fuck that is. <laughs> that was... I, n I don't think I ever picked up a Shia for today. We about to get into this, see what we got in a second, bro. Oh, my GoPro dying. Gotta rip that bitch out of the plastic, feeling brand new. I know, it, I know it said like, it was two of the same things in here. So whatever I got is just gonna be multiplied by two. I wish there was a receipt so I can know what any of these things are. We got this thingy right here. No idea what that is. I don't even know how to describe that smell. Ooh, we got a whole platter, boy. God bless me today. And then, like I just said, every is they ordered the two of the exact same meal, so the other one is exactly what this is. We got some rice, we got some chicken, we got some ooh, we got some veggies. I love veggies, cucumbers. You know what I'm saying? We got some, 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 some tomatoes. We got some sauce. I'm getting to this. I'm gonna tell y'all if this shit slap. But anyway, that's gonna do it for tonight. Actually, before I go, let's go down the money breakdown. I'm bugging. Shitty ass YouTuber, bro. You can tell. So we started. We hopped online at 6:39 p.m. and then we ended at 10:27 p.m. In that time frame, we made a total. And this is before tips, because a lot of times when I record these videos, like after I edit it, like a day or two after I finish working, someone will add on tips, and I can't be bothered to go back in and re. Uh, reapply that especially if i start editing it yeah that's not happening <laughs> so whatever i made for the day is going to show up anyway currently we are at 75 dollars and 55 cents in only 10 trips raising my distance since i got bigger paying orders it greatly reduced the amount of trips that I've, i did i've done because on previous days in order to hit like anywhere close to 100 i'll probably be doing like 15 orders to hit 100 with just our base pay model here in the NYC. So this is this is actually a big step up. Only 10 orders compared to the 15 to 20 that I usually do. And it could have been less if I only focused on doing the further distance orders, like all the long orders. Because I did take some short distance, which add on to the total deliveries that I did. I did maybe like three or four of those, like this little short range orders that is only worth like three or four dollars but yeah i think i'm gonna start doing long orders from now on especially since that um i'm doing this part time again like you know just knock out some long orders listen to music and just just rack up some money 